A North Las Vegas company is doing some amazing things that could make it a major player in the U.S. space effort. Bigelow Aerospace is working on a pitch to NASA to build a new huge space habitat. 13 Action News reporter Elizabeth Gadley met with the company's founder to see what's in the works. Astronaut Jeff Williams opened the hatch to the darkened beam module. With its inflatable habitat now being tested on the International Space Station, North Las Vegas company Bigelow Aerospace is setting its sights past the ISS and into deep space. Well, if you're going to go to a deep space mission, do you really want to be cooped up in a small little closet with a number of other people for a very long period of time? The next step for Robert Bigelow's company is pitching a larger version of the inflatable habitat to NASA, the B-330. The, the, the beam that was just docked and the hatch was opened up is located right there, and this is to scale. And this is, would be X-Base, our 330. It would be built at Bigelow Aerospace's North Las Vegas factory and could be ready for launch and link up with the space station by 2020. It would be leased to NASA and could provide astronauts with a lot more space. The big advantage for NASA is by having this on station is they have a tremendous amount of room in one vessel to work with. This is a mock-up of something that could be one step down the line from the B-330. It's a one-sixth scale of a base that could potentially one day land on the moon or even Mars. Bigelow believes such expandable habitats could be the key to eventual deep space exploration. We're going to have to have some kind of medical solutions and medical facility somewhere. You're going to have living quarters, you know, you're going to have a commissary area where people are going to eat and gather. And Bigelow believes his expandable habitats could one day provide all of that. If it all works out and NASA accepts the pitch, it could mean more jobs at the North Las Vegas facility and it could draw more companies to the area further down the line. Reporting from the newsroom, I'm Elizabeth Gadley, 13 Action News.